Solway Omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country Returns. In the last episode, we tested our reflexes with the frantic minecart level, and had way more trouble than we should have with an easy silhouette level, at least easy by this world standards. That was 8-3 and 8-4, of course. And naturally, we move on to 8-5, bobbing the salt. The salt, if you didn't know, is a type of volcanic rock. Now whether it actually looks like this rock, I'm not actually sure. Okay, so we have seven puzzle pieces. And... Hey, it's a big TV. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, obviously, as you can see, we have some moving platforms going on here. And that's pretty much the main feature of this level. Things go up, things go down, and they come in and out of the lava. You can tell which ones are actually going to submerge, because those are the ones that look kind of cracked and glowing. The ones that aren't like that, you're guaranteed to be safe on. Obviously, in real life, things of convection wouldn't matter anyway, because we'd be pretty much burning ourselves regardless. But hey, it's a video game and a 2D platformer. Like I said before. In fact, I think Cranky Kong actually says we apes have no need for the laws of physics at one point. Got this tower here. Got all the bananas for a puzzle piece. Come over here and, and get in it burned by the lava because I couldn't get out quickly enough. I did get the puzzle piece. There we go, got an extra coin that time. Oh, by the way, something I didn't mention about the submerging lava platforms is you can't stand on them immediately after they've exited the lava because they're still glowing red hot a little bit and you will get hurt if you touch them. Cutoff point isn't always the easiest thing to tell, but let's see if we can get through here safely. This is like Donkey Kong bullet hell here. I don't think you can just wait for them to stop spawning. Some of them are actually kind of random too. Okay. Knock that down. Let's see if we can get through here a little quicker this time. And again, I'm not actually sure. Ah, this is fine. Oh well. I'm not actually sure if that would help getting up there, because it needs to be down low to a certain point. Whoa, that was close. Wow, that was double close. I almost did a bad thing. There's our O. Yeah, so you can tell that these platforms are all safe. Bats? What are those doing in here? Like, World 5 wasn't good enough for you people? Or creatures? And, of course, collapsing platforms, too. I have just been having a lot of close calls in this one. But, hey, there's our first checkpoint and our first UK barrel. We've gone this far with that one, so let's not roll right past it, shall we? I see that bonus barrel. And it's one of this kind. I will say one thing about the bonus rooms in this game, and whether that's a good, bad, or neutral thing really depends on your personal preference, but they're also a heck of a lot easier than the ones in the Super Nintendo games overall, especially Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. The first games were pretty simple, except for those with the spinning barrels. Those maybe not so much, but you don't have anything like that one bonus from Stampede Sprint, for instance, in Donkey Kong Country 3. There's nothing that nasty in this game, even close. Anyway. Pressing. Another one of these. We got hit, but it's shorter than the first one, and we had four hits to deal with, or to work with, instead of two. There's gotta be something down there. It's 
easy to miss. Yeah, that's the end. Is there any... Can I get around? I don't know. Wow. Okay, I actually am going to have to go down there. I can't just skip it out of laziness. Got ourselves another puzzle piece. We're up to five. That's pretty decent. Yeah, this part is actually kind of tricky. Not that lethal, relatively speaking. But you have to make tiny jumps. Or else you basically just reset your progress. There we go. I hope we get a checkpoint after this, because that part makes me a little unsettled. Wait a minute. Okay, that is just how you... Wait a minute. That looks suspicious. But apparently it's... Oh, it's nothing? Looks like you should be able to go into there. I probably would not have made that without the jetpack. Okay, just one more puzzle piece left to go. I will say that the obstacles in this level do not seem to vary much as you progress. But we're done with it and we got a whole lot of lives to replace the ones we lost last time and the one we the time before. So back up to Max, and we missed one puzzle piece. Don't know where it would be unless it was in that part I said was I said looked suspicious. I didn't see anything to throw at the wall or anything. Anyway, continuing two eight six, moving melters. Actually, wait, we're maxed out on coins again. Hello, Cranky. We're so rich that we actually need ways to get rid of money and. I was trying to come up with something clever there, but kind of missed the moment. Number 954. We don't need good luck, eh, luck, my cranky old friend. We need skill to get through these last four levels. Now we're doing 8 6. Actually, friend might be stretching it a bit. But yeah, moving melters. Okay, at the start. Gotta pick up that barrel and save it this time because those things aren't gonna leave us a return route. So what do I need this barrel for? There isn't even there aren't even any enemies I could throw it at. Oh, I know. That. What I need to Good jumping. And so sorry Diddy could not join us this time. But yes, moving melters. We'll have a lot of moving platforms. Of a different style from the previous level. This time we're going horizontally instead of vertically. I don't think you could get another puzzle piece from getting all the bananas around that thing earlier. I could be wrong. Let's just ride along in style. And there's a big one. Formerly known as a wheel. Well, that was great timing. So far, so bad. I guess we're not really, you know, what? we're not really doing anything hard this episode. Both 8.5 and 8.6 are pretty middle of the road as far as difficulty goes. They're not as easy as 8.4, but they're not as tough as 2 or 3. Okay. That platform actually looks like it should crumble, but it doesn't. Apparently. Maybe. Okay. Let's do this right this time. Well, we missed all the stuff, but that was close enough to being right. I actually needed that heart. Let's 
seem to recall never having gotten all the puzzle pieces in this one either. Like there is some, there is one that was really obscurely hidden or something. But you had to do a certain thing to get it. I'm not sure. You know my memory. Whoa. Careful maneuvering around these things. And how the heck was I supposed to get that one up? I do not think I could have gotten over there in time. You can see that puzzle piece, and it's kind of in a precarious location. Seems like roll jumping might be the best option if I can at least turn around in time. Whoa! Seems like roll jumping and not almost screwing up ruining everything might be the... Yeah, no getting out of that one. That was just poorly planned. I can't believe we haven't hit a checkpoint yet. Maybe this is the one I was thinking of that was so deficient in them. I think there was one, like, right about where we died last time, but... Almost only counts in horseshoes, as they say. I should have actually checked to see if there were any hearts in there. Because now I... Lava. Lava is delicious and nutritious. <laughs> he actually jumped over the barrel, sort of. Okay, getting all of those does not get you anything. I thought it might have. I wonder how much the timing matters as far as which of these platforms you step on since they're continually spawning. Also, it doesn't look like... That K is surprisingly difficult to get without getting hit. Okay, this has a heart. I'm thinking maybe not stopping for the treasure is a good idea. And again, I am down, down a couple of lives. Yeah, um... The only way I could see getting that one up is knowing about it in advance and roll jumping off the... ...seating platform. You know, these wheels are actually not the easiest thing to roll jump from. Or o. Can I just walk off? Okay. It's just bananas. Or as out of the way is that as, it, as I would have expected a better prize than that. Whoa! Almost stopped paying attention and fell into the lava there. And I remember this being here. Did I know about this before? Oh, either way, here's a platform. Interesting way of getting into a bonus room. I can't think of many, if any, other places in the game where they do something like that, but it does seem like I haven't been in here before. I don't remember that platform thing. And I actually failed the bonus. Is that the first time I've failed one of those? I don't think so, but... Yeah, well, that's what I get for rushing it. And we have a checkpoint here, so at least if I die, I can go right into the bonus and try again, because it's right next to it. Hello, puzzle piece. So that should have been our fourth. I'm really hoping I don't have to get all of these bananas for the fifth. Oh, there's our G. If I actually see the other puzzle piece, I might just... Um, jump into the lava and go back and get that bonus. Okay, should not have stood there. I was thinking getting all of those would get me something. Dang it. I don't remember that part being so damn packed full of stuff either. Go me! Let's fall into the lava right under the exit. Literally right under. Well, at least we can do this again, I guess? I'm trying to think of it, the checkpoint in this one seems surprisingly late into the level. Like, the second half doesn't seem nearly as long as the first. 
But anyway. Second verse, same as the first. And got it. Still don't know where that last one is though, and I'm betting it has something to do with getting a bunch of bananas somewhere. And it's not those bananas. Whoa. Well, that was dumb. Control's kind of stuck on me. But it's quick enough to get back there at least. I'm hoping the last one doesn't involve getting all these bananas because that would be tough. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to do it, but... Another part that would be easier with memorization. That spot of art would also really suck on your mode. But then again, I guess you're not really supposed to know about that yet. There we go. That's how you do that. At least that level had a little bit more justification for me struggling at it than 8-4 did. And I didn't struggle that much. Mostly just made a bunch of silly mistakes. So, with only one regular level left, we will continue next time. So when we do 8-7, I will see you in the next episode.